Hello my dear students. Welcome to your English grammar class. Today we will do chapter 19 punctuation marks. Children, in this video we will learn all about punctuation marks. Punctuation means the marks used in writing that divide sentences and phrases. It means we use punctuation mark to create sense, clarity and stress in sentences. We use it to structure and organize our writing too. Means we use these marks in sentences to make the meaning clear. Full stop, comma, question mark, exclamation mark, and apostrophe are the punctuation marks. Full stop. A sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop. We use full stop at the end of all assertive or imperative sentences. Children, an assertive sentence expresses a statement to tell a fact and always ends with a full stop. For example, the train stops here. We all wish to live a happy life. The sun rises in the east. Miss Neha is a good teacher, etc. These all are assertive sentences. Imperative sentence expresses an order or a request and it also ends with a full stop. For example, Open the window. Shut the window. Please sit down. These all are imperative sentences. Next we have comma. The comma is used to show a little pause. It is used to separate a series of words in the same construction. For example, he lost health, comma, wealth, comma, money, comma, prestige and friends. Children, we usually use the word and in place of a comma before the last word in a series or a list. Let's read this sentence once again with a little pause. He lost health. Wealth, money, prestige and friends. I have a ball, bat, badminton and football. I need a pen, pencil, eraser, sharpener and a copy. We use comma to separate each pair of words joined by and. For example, man and woman, comma. Rich and poor, comma, wise and foolish must visit the book fair. Now let us read this sentence once again with a pause. Man and woman, rich and poor, wise and foolish must visit the book fair. We use comma to separate a direct quotation from the rest of the sentence. For example, the teacher said, the earth goes round the sun. They said, we have passed the examination. Children, we use comma to mark off words used in addressing people. For example, how are you, Ravi? Ravi, 
will you do this work? In both examples, as you have seen, that I have taken a little pause on the place of comma. Next, we have question mark. The question mark is used after a direct question. It means we use question mark in place of the full stop after a direct question. Let us see the example. When will the school reopen? Where are you going? Students, as you can see that both sentences have question mark at the end. Such sentences are called interrogative sentences. Now next is exclamation mark. The exclamation mark is used at the end of words that show joy, sorrow, approval, or wonder. These words are called interjections. Children, as we studied in previous chapter that interjection is a part of a speech that demonstrates the emotion or feeling of a speaker. It is important to note that an interjection is always followed by an exclamation mark. It is a word that expresses some sudden feeling. For example, Hara, we won the match. Alas, he has died. Ah, he has gone. Here, Hara, alas, ah, are interjection and followed by an exclamation mark. Apostrophe. The apostrophe is used to show position. For showing position with a singular noun, we add an apostrophe plus letter S. For example, these are Amit's book. It means all the books belong to Amit. This is Mrs. Chandra's house. It means the house belongs to Mrs. Chandra. Children, always remember that we never use apostrophe plus S for making any singular noun plural. We use apostrophe to form the plurals of letters and figures. For example, if we have to say add 2, 7 and 6, 4, we would say or write add 2, 7s and 6, 4s or we, if we have to say that add 5, 7 and 5, 4, you would say or write that add 5, 7s and 5, 4s. The apostrophe is used to show that a letter is missing or some letters are missing. It means it is placed where a letter or letters have removed. For example, do not. We can write do not as don't, D O N apostrophe and T. The pronunciation will be don't. In this example, as you can see that O is missing and in the place of O, we used apostrophe. Same like that, cannot. We can write cannot like can't, C-A-N apostrophe T, can't. Let us, 
we can say or write letters let's it is we can write or say it is it's we write the following sentences by putting capital letters and full stops students as you know that a sentence always begins with a capital letter and ends with a full stop the first sentence we have india is a vast country as you can see that i of india is the first letter of the sentence so it will be in capital letter india i of india capital is a vast country full stop she was late for school in this sentence s is the cap first letter of the sentence s of she is the first letter of the sentence so it will be in capital letter and the sentence will be she s capital was late for school full stop the sun rises in the east in this sentence t of the is the first letter of the sentence so it is in capital letter the sun rises in the east we played football yesterday in this sentence w of v is the first letter so the sentence will be w in capital letter v played football yesterday full stop my skirt is dirty in this sentence m is the first letter of the sentence so it will be in capital letter my am capital letter skirt is dirty full stop his shirt is very expensive students as you can see that h of his is the first letter of the sentence so we will write it in capital letter so his h in capital letter shirt is very expensive full stop monica is my best friend in this sentence m of monica is the first letter of the sentence so it will be in capital letter monica is my best friend full stop the doctor examined the patient in this sentence the t of the is the first letter of the sentence so the sen it will be in capital letter the sent the t in capital letter doctor examined the patient full stop someone stole his purse in this sentence s of someone is the first letter of the sentence so it will be in capital letter someone s in capital letter stole his purse the platform was empty t of the is the first letter of this sentence so it will be in capital letter the sentence will be the t in capital letter platform was empty full stop rewrite the following sentences by putting capital letters commas and full stops in this question the first letter of the sentences and the first letter of proper nouns it means particular names of people per animals places things etc capital we have to put commas to separate the series of words in the sentence and full stop at the sentences first sentence we have he wrote the letter 
neatly, quickly and legibly. We can rewrite this sentence. He, H of he is the first letter of the sentence. So it will be in capital letter. He, H capital letter, wrote the letter neatly, comma, quickly and legibly. India, China, Pakistan and Nepal participated in the conference. In this sentence, India, China, Pakistan and Nepal are the particular name of a country. It is a proper noun. So, the first letter of all these countries will be in capital letter. So, we can rewrite this sentence as India, I capital letter, China, C capital letter, Pakistan, P capital letter. Okay? So, Let's rewrite this sentence. India, I capital, comma, China, C capital, comma, Pakistan, P capital letter, and Nepal, N capital letter, participated in the conference, full stop. Students study English, Mathematics, Science, and Social Studies in high school. In this sentence, S of a student is the first letter of the sentence. So, it will be in capital letter. E of English, M of Mathematics, S of Science and S of Social Studies will be in capital letter. We use comma to separate English, Mathematics, Science and Social Studies. So, we can rewrite the sentence as Students S in capital letter study English E in capital letter comma mathematics M in capital letter comma science S in capital letter and social studies S of social and S of studies both will be in capital letter in high school full stop. Fourth, we should include fruit, vegetables, milk and pulses in our diet. In this sentence, W of V will be in capital letter because it is the first letter of the sentence and we will put commas to separate fruit, vegetables, milk and pulse. Now we can rewrite this sentence as W of V capital should include fruit comma, vegetables, comma, milk and pulses in our diet. Fifth number, they visited New Delhi, Agra and Jaipur. In this sentence, T of they will be in capital letter because it is the first letter of the sentence. And New Delhi, Agra and Jaipur are the particular name of a place, a particular name of a city. So, the first letter of these all names will be in capital letter. So, we can rewrite the sentence as They, T in capital letter, visited New Delhi. N of New will be in capital letter and D of Delhi will be in capital letter. Because New Delhi, it is a complete name. It is a complete name of a particular place. It is a proper noun. New Delhi is a proper noun. So, the N and D both will be in capital letter. Comma, Agra A will be in capital letter and Jaipur J in capital letter. Full stop. Students, we usually use the word and, A and D and in place of a comma before the last word in the series or a list as you can see in the answers. Rewrite the following questions by putting capital letters and question mark. As you know very well that the first letter of sentence will be in capital letter. And we use 
question mark in place of full stop after a direct question the first question we have what is your name so we can rewrite this sentence as what w of what which is the first letter of the sentence in capital letter what is your name question mark second when did she come yesterday here w of when will be in capital letter because it is the first letter of the sentence when did she come yesterday question mark why do you not like x in this sentence w of y will be in capital letter because it is the first letter of the sentence why do you not like x question mark where have they gone in this sentence w of where is the first letter of the sentence so it will be in capital letter where have they gone question mark how are you h of how is the cap will be in capital letter because it is the first letter of the sentence how are you question mark rewrite the following sentences by using capital letters exclamation mark and full stop or question mark children as you know that the exclamation mark is used at the end of the words that show joy sorrow approval or wonder these words are called interjections our first question is hurra we have passed in this question hurra is an interjection and we will make h of hurra capital then we will put an exclamation mark after it we will also make w of v capital then full stop at the end so we will write the sentence hurra h capital exclamation mark v w in capital have passed full stop second alas they have died alas is an interjection after it we will put an exclamation mark so we will write the sentence as alas a in capital then exclamation mark alas exclamation mark they three of they in capital letter have died full stop third hello what is going on the here in this question hello is an interjection and we will put an exclamation mark after it sentence will be hello first letter of hello h in capital letter then exclamation mark what w of what in capital letter is going on here question mark ah this coffee is good in this question ah is an interjection and we will put an exclamation mark after ah sentence will be ah a will be in capital letter in exclamation mark this t of this in capital letter coffee is good full stop hush you will wake up the children in this sentence hush is an interjection and we will put an exclamation mark after it so the sentence will be hush as in capital then exclamation mark you y of you in capital letter will wake up the children full stop write the following sentences using capital letters and apostrophe first sentence we have let us go to the zoo here in this sentence we will write let us as let's let's go to the zoo full stop do not make a noise full stop 
So we will write do not as don't. Don't make a noise. It is not correct. We will write it is as it's. It's not correct. Add four twos and eight sevens. We will write TWOS twos as two in digit and apostrophe S and sevens, S E V E N S sevens as seven in digit apostrophe with S. So we can write. As you can see in the video that add four two in digit apostrophe s and eight seven in digit apostrophe with s. I cannot lift this box. So we will write cannot as can't. I can't lift this box. Now students, read the chapter and watch the video again and complete all exercises in your book.